Arkin' all fall, just about this summer. You know Hollywood, but let me take you under some South Central love. That's gonna make you wonder. Them ghetto girls, you know I love them. I'm not your husband, no, I don't trust them. My beamer stock, the Impala's custom. No, I don't rush them. No introductions, she know that's me. This is Aaron Camper. She's like a bad song that she never learned to sing. Playing in my head, running through my memories. Opportunity and Destiny kind of met me at the same place. I wanted to chase music and I felt a close drawing to music, so I went towards it and, you know, music met me halfway. I moved, relocated to Philadelphia, where Neil Soul was big at the time with Jill Scott and the Roots and Peter Jazzy Jeff and Eric Roberson and the list goes on and on. And these people kind of adopted me. I don't think people realize, they might see, our Paris has been quiet for a while and all this stuff. You have 17 different product lines in the world. You have a new like hotel opening up, 50 retail stores, and a new record with Lil Wayne, and a new whole record deal with Cash Money, and on top of that, you've been DJing in Ibiza all summer. It's been really <laughs> exciting. I'm having so much fun, and I feel so proud of how everything is going so successful. What motivates you to, to be able to do so much stuff and to keep at it all these years? It just runs in my blood. I think coming from the Hilton family, it's always been a lot to live up to. And I have such amazing mentors, my grandfather and my father. So looking up to them as businessmen has made me want to be who I am today. So this is Nikki Leonte. For me, when I'm writing lyrically about something related to what I'm going through, it, it sells the songs better. When I write how I feel, a lot of times there's an artist that can relate to it. People are attracted to what is real, and the realest form of writing is what you're dealing with yourself. And what inspires me is that you can always build and you can always get better and grow. Sometimes you are your only fan, and I've, I've had that situation where like, the absolutely one person that could vouch for me and believe that this was going somewhere was myself. Now you both have new projects coming out. Dom, you're what, two weeks away from today? Two weeks away, October 15th, Get Home nice. Safely, the yeah. album. Congratulations, so many people Man. have been anticipating it. Literally, when we've been posting like things uh, about this show and stuff, the, the level of feedback from the audience has been incredible. How'd you build such a huge fan base? Man, just working hard, traveling. I think traveling helped out a lot, and, and just trying to put myself into every project that I do. You know, yeah. I feel like that was important. Like, once I got there, you know, when you start out, you want to go so many places, you don't really know the reaction of the fans, but once I got there, when once I traveled and did shows and met people, I, I found out it was just putting myself, you know, into everything that I do and, and just leaving them with something, you know? We're actually gonna take you up close with the Dodgers Cy Young Award winner and MVP candidate who's not just one of the best pitchers in baseball, but an incredible human being all around. Before the playoffs start Thursday, we bring you Clayton Kershaw. You know, everybody has their different motivations. I think for me, it's probably fear of failure. I don't like to lose, I don't like to fail, and I don't like to have regrets. So I feel like in order for me to perform at uh, the level that I want to perform at, I have to do all these check marks every fifth day to make sure that I'm ready to pitch. And uh, if I pitch bad one day, if I did everything to prepare, it's just I can tip my cap, I can live with that. This was actually our first sample here. And as you can see, it's drastically different from the finished product. Um, from materials to even the color blocking. Then we came back with this here. Um, so you can see it, it's improved quite drastically. We have a new shoe coming out in September um, called the C-Note, which uh, no pictures have been leaked of. What up, what up, it's Dom Kenley, had a great time, shout out to DJ Ski, long time homeboy, OPM, all money in, Nip Hustle, we had a great time, rocked it, make sure you get that Crenshaw October 8th and that get home safely, yeah, yeah. October 15th, all that, all that Ski that Live, nigga, yeah. What up, what up, Ski Live, neighborhood in Nip Hustle, um, just got off stage, you know, just did the interview with my homie Ski. Man, it's just a good look. You know, we got these new projects coming out. Crenshaw on October 8th. Dom, get home safe October 15th. OPM, all money in. You know what it is. It sounds like it look, yeah. I had a great time with DJ Ski. I love him. He's so dope. And that's a wrap. Ski Live, Paris Hilton, Nipsey Hussle, Dom Kennedy, Clayton Kershaw, Nikki Leonte, Aaron Camper, New Balance. You name it, the list goes on. Who would have thought they'd all be on the same show? 
Only we can do that. We'll see you every Tuesday. Ski Live, Access TV. Yeah. What do you guys think of the West Coast and where Man, I think it's great. Music? I think it's been a, lo a long time coming. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of work in progress, and I feel like a lot of the, you know, younger artists is taking over. I feel like.